we've been prototyping and testing. You're building on each other's opinion. We are doing really specific detail. This is historic. They just do things because that's how they've always done it. This could be the key that unlocks the kingdom. I'm blown away really with what they have achieved. And you arrive to this campus, it's like, wow, it's nothing I've ever seen before. Welcome to the Glasgow School of Art Highlands and Islands Creative Campus. You are the first winter school here. You are the pioneers. Winter School is an opportunity to do something that is fundamentally different. We're actually engaging with communities, we're engaging with real people, and we're doing so in an international context. This is the first time that we are really bringing a new Glasgow School of Art campus online. In Murray, where we wanted to be, we found this place and said, the space here gives us studio. I'm almost envious. It's a great blessing in, in terms of getting away and actually forging a new kind of practice. The theme for Winter School is innovation from tradition. And in the opening talk that I gave at the beginning of the week, I said, well, doesn't that sound like a paradox? If something's a tradition, would you want or how could you innovate from it? But of course, that's the perfect thing to set the students as something to explore. You have people who come with different backgrounds and they've grown up learning in a very different way. Staying here, exploring a new space, meeting other new students from different countries, all of those things coming in together, it's really such a rich mix. We're looking at how we can work with businesses and communities in the area to help them flourish. A lot of our work is about participatory design and engagement within the communities. We believe that's at the heart of, of how we can contribute to this region and we need to do that in, in a way that's sensitive and ethical. This is the future of design, if you like. How we work in a social way, how we work with people is just as important, if not more important, than how we actually look to fashion objects in terms of form or function. We gave them an abundance of information because Johnson's is very complicated and we thought if we give them all the information we can, they can pick out what they want really from that. It's not just about becoming an academic, it's about making a difference to real people. We're at Forsyth in Rothis to learn about the history of coppersmithing. We're looking for the links between different parts of local craft and local industry. Looking at the traditional whisky and the impact it has in this region, especially in Speyside. There's so much knowledge in this institution. Johnson's is the last fully vertical mill in Scotland. It was really just an eye-opening experience. It was fantastic yesterday just being out at the Abbey. We were seeing it in its normal Sunday service use. Yeah. Although we were all working on our own, doing our own notes, yeah. there's definite overlaps in these. Then like this whole concept we thought of, of the whole escape part of it where somebody's actually isolating them from a societal space to yeah. this place for a retreat. We could actually also see how it is done now and how we can enhance it further in a way that they can take that experience back in a very recreatable way in their everyday surroundings. <laughs> Seldom you have the chance to be together for two weeks, together with faculty and together with students. It is a unique opportunity to share experiences. Be curious, be empathetic in the way you're working. I think that's important and I think it is repeated throughout. We are here to learn from each other. All the industries are connected, like the fishing, the whiskey, the cooperage. You meet colleagues from literally all over the world and we figure out that we are somehow like-minded, addressing similar problems in a different way and this is absolutely enriching. You can see that the students are enjoying being here and that they've got the space to, to think, to create. It's a marvelous place to be. Friend and Bairds, they seem really interesting. They've only been in there for four years and Krishana has been very helpful. Yeah, what they're trying to do is try, uh, to connect all the artists in the surrounding and organize festivals. And I think it did work, the interaction aspect. I felt that people were actually and yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to, to use it. Maybe the, the questions we were asking were not the proper ones. And maybe we don't need to go for quantitative information. Maybe try to get more insights and go more qualitative. We might want to focus a little more on like the specific feedback. How can we get that actual relevant information from this object? The, yeah, of, maybe yeah. It's, it's, this is not the proper material then. There is always a phase in design work where the complexity overwhelms you. 
This is the sort of storm before the calm, hoping that the calm will come. We have to explain everything and it's two weeks and two minutes. Currently at the moment we're preparing our presentation for later on this afternoon. We're just looking at how best to communicate the process and just rewriting our post-it notes because post-it notes are uh, like the um, oil of uh, design thinking, so to speak. I'm really looking forward to hearing what Forsyth think of our project. We're quite excited to show them what we've done and hope that they like it. How can we potentially further the brand through experience? By looking a bit more broadly, we should be able to find an interesting range of, uh, of solutions. We found it really fascinating that there's this real craft industry, but it's sort of hidden. We've really enjoyed the past two weeks in getting to know the guys at Fintorn. From this point, we're looking forward to exploring these issues a bit more deeply. <laughs> It's been really exciting to see what they come up with, the way that they've kind of drilled down on what the really core issues that we are experiencing. It's just exciting to have fresh eyes on something that we're probably far too close to. Interesting just to, to challenge our own perceptions, but also challenge the students' perceptions as well. Hopefully this week's been a real supportive environment for them and will continue to inform their research as they progress forward in the course. Starting to understand in the field where we sit as practitioners is something that I think was really, really valuable. Really enjoyed winter school, it's been really fantastic. We've learned a lot. Getting straight in there and speaking to your stakeholder initially was a massive help, gave us loads of direction and looking forward to seeing what we'll do next. Overall, I think all of us have learned a tremendous amount and have really been able to get to work with one another as a team and I think this is an awesome starting point for the rest of the term. <laughs> this is the place where we experiment with that curricular ambition. So how are we going to do new things in new ways and have that translate back into the curricular experience that students are going to learn from, which equips them for life after education.